Hello guys, welcome back to the new videos of Coding by. In this video, I am going to show you that how you can build customer support chatbot. This is project 9 out of 50 plus AI project. Through all this project, you will not only enhance your knowledge but also boost up your coding skill. So without wasting more time, let's get started. So before we start, if you are new to my YouTube channel, then please hit like and subscribe button. So quickly install all the required libraries which is necessary for this project. Here as you can see I used to install Gradio, NLTK and scikit-learn libraries. In my case it is already installed so it says requirement already satisfied. Now quickly I move on to the next step. Here I import all the necessary libraries which is required to build this project. And here as you can see I used to import Gradio as GR. It is a python library used for creating user friendly web interface for machine learning model. It allows user to interact with model through input field, button and slider. Next is NLTK which stands for Natural Language Toolkit. which is a powerful python library for working with human language data or text. It provides various tools for tasks like tokenization, stemming and limitization and so on. Now from sklearn.feature underscore extraction dot text, I used to import tfidf vectorizer. Here tfidf stands for term frequency inverse document frequency, which is a method that is used to convert text data into numerical feature vector. Basically it measures how important a word to a document in a collection of documents. Now from sklearn.matrix.pairwise, I used to import cosine underscore similarity. So if we talk about cosine similarity, which is a function that is used to compute cosine similarities between two vectors, which means that how two pieces of text are similar to each other based on their vector representation. Next I used to import numpy as np, which is a fundamental library in python used for numerical computation. It provides support for an array, matrix and mathematical operations. Next I used to download punct dataset from NLTK which contain pre-trained model for tokenization. And if we talk about tokenization what really it is. It is a process which are used to split a sentence into list of word. Now quickly I used to run this line of code and as you can see I successfully downloaded the punct. Now quickly I move on to the next step. And here as you can see I used to define FAQs and general chat response content. Both of these two things stored in the form of dictionary. And if we talk about what dictionary in python, it is stored data in the form of key value pair under the curly braces. Where keys are immutable and values are mutable. Here these content I used to store to their corresponding variable which is FAQ and general underscore chat. Quickly I used to combine these two things together. So for that, first I used to define a variable called faq underscore questions Then with the usage of faqs dot keys function used to extract all the keys from faqs dictionary and I used to convert it into a list of question with the usage of list function and store it to faq underscore question variable After that I used to define another variable that is faq underscore response Then with the usage of faq dot values function I used to extract all the answers from the FAQs dictionary and after converting it into a list of answers I used to store it to the FAQ underscore response variable. Next same I used to do with general underscore chat dictionary. Similarly first I used to define a variable called general underscore questions and general underscore responses. Then extracting questions and answers from general underscore chat with the usage of keys and values function. After converting it into a list of question and answer, I used to store it to their corresponding variable. Next I used to combine all the questions together and all the answers together. So for that I used to define a variable called all underscore questions. Here I pass faq underscore question plus general underscore question. Similarly for all underscore responses variable, faq underscore responses plus general underscore responses. Now next I used to convert questions into numerical vector with the usage of tfidf. So for that I used to call a class tfidf vectorizer and store it to a vectorizer variable. This line of code initializes an instance of tfidf vectorizer class from sklearn.feature underscore extraction dot text module. As I said earlier it is used to convert text data into numerical feature vector which is necessary for performing text similarity calculation. 
so with the usage of vectorizer dot fit underscore transform where i pass all underscore question convert all the questions into numerical feature vector and then store it faq underscore vector variable and this vector is going to be used further for cosine similarities which is a mathematical computation now quickly i used to move on to the next step here i used to define a function for response matching here as you can see with the usage of def keyword i used to define a function called chatbot underscore response where i pass user underscore input variable and here as you can see user underscore input dot lower function dot strip function so first with the usage of lower function it will convert input text into lower case and ensure case insensitivity then with the usage of strip function i used to remove leading as well as trailing white space from the input text this is simple pre-processing step which is required before feeding it to the vectorizer class next with the usage of vectorizer dot transform where i pass list of user input this line of code convert the user input text into numerical vector the usage of term frequency inverse document frequency vectorizer which i used to define earlier as vectorizer then store it to the user underscore vector variable next i used to call cosine underscore similarity function where i used to pass user underscore vector comma faq underscore vectors this will compute the cosine similarity between the user's input vector and faq underscore vectors and this will return a matrix of similarity scores which need to be converted into one dimensional array with the usage of flatten function then whatever value that come after it i used to store it to the similarities variable so i used to find the best match so for that the usage of np.argmax function where i pass similarities variable extract the index of highest similarity score from the similarities array this index corresponds to the questions in all questions variable that is most similar to the user input then i used to store it to the best underscore match underscore idx variable now next i used to check the confidence level so for that with the usage of if conditional statement i used to perform checks on similarities with index best underscore match underscore idx if it is greater than 0.3 confidence level i used to return response from all underscore response with index best underscore match underscore idx otherwise in return statement i leave a message that i am sorry i don't have an answer for that please contact support so quickly move on to the next step where i used to create user interface using gradio so here as you can see first i used to define a variable called interface then with the usage of alias gr i used to call interface class here i define fn as variable where i pass chatbot underscore response function next i used to define a variable called input then i create a text box with the usage of gr dot text box function and inside that function i used to define placeholder and label next i used to define a variable called output and again i need to create a text box with the usage of gr dot text box function where i pass label then i used to define title description and theme now finally with the usage of interface dot launch function i used to deploy the code on gradio so as soon as i run the code i will get the public url and as you can see after clicking on it i will redirect to the public user interface here as you can see customer support chatbot with two text box and two button that is clear and submit so whenever you write anything inside the chat with customer support bot it will reflect the response in chatbot response text box so this is how you can build customer support chatbot ai I hope this video is informative please do like share and subscribe for more upcoming projects